So the example that I thought of is an example where artists uh, struggle or even give up. And it's really about the importance of including artists in the setting of policies rather than thinking of artists as sort of the recipient or end recipient of a policy. Um, so in the late 90s, uh, when the city plan was being created for Nashville that would set all of the policy for the city uh, for the next you know, 10 to 15 years, no artists were included in the process at all. And as a result, we saw policies that didn't think about artists, right? Not shocking. They weren't in the room. They weren't considered. Uh, and so not only were they not included in policies in ways that might be helpful for artists, artists weren't viewed as an integral part of the city and the operations and weren't seen as potential solutions for some of the challenges that the city was facing. So you ended up with a very sort of segregated, siloed uh, artist community, that felt that they were being kind of handed policies and handed um, things that were, you know, going to continue for the next decade or so with no kind of say in, uh, in that. Um, so I think it's really just kind of a cautionary tale for um, not just being at the table, but being really meaningfully involved on leadership teams when setting policy for the entire city uh, in a way that people may not necessarily think artists need to play a role at that point.